Actually, can, can someone give me a glass of water? I've <laughs> <laughs> been on stage just smacking teeth all day, dude. It's been fun. Um, so this, uh, this high concept presentation is supposed to be something you know we know and care deeply about. So that's why, uh, of course, I chose the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens. <laughs> yeah. uh, I took a girl on a date here in high school and got a hand job after. <laughs> Place fucking rules, dude. <laughs> uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the only thing that rules about it. Uh, there's a lot of other fun things that happen there. Uh, the Cincinnati Zoo is, is old as shit. Um, uh, it was founded in 1875, uh, which, uh, said according to Wikipedia, makes it the sixth oldest zoo in the country. But at the Cincinnati Zoo when I was a kid, they always told us it was the second oldest. I don't know. There's lying. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm here for start a conspiracy theory on... Uh, <laughs> it's so old. Uh, here are things that are older than this incident. Oh, no, oh, yeah, no. It, this is going to suck now because it's so obviously a punchline. <laughs> you know how it's an old ass zoo? It's so easy. All you needed to start a zoo was like 40 birds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this fucking so bad. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Woo! Uh, <laughs> here for the birds, baby. <laughs> Uh, football is older uh, than the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, the concept of putting ice cream in soda <laughs> is older than the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, and the jackstrap, uh, which was actually just invented, it was three years after football, so it took them a while to figure out they needed it. <laughs> the Cincinnati Zoo has known for, been around a while, so there's a lot of cool things. Yeah. Um, Martha was the last passenger pigeon in the world. She was at the zoo for a long time, and the whole time they tried to make her have sex. <laughs> and she refused to do it for seven years, and then yeah. died. <laughs> they brought her to unacceptable icon. Um, also back then, they had an act called Susie the Gorilla. Uh, uh, her whole thing was that she could eat a meal with a knife and a fork. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, this is like 10 years after they figured out they could do more than birds. So they were pretty impressed by just about anything. <laughs> it was cool. Uh, but of course, into the modern age, the thing that the yes. Cincinnati Zoo is known most for uh, is this beautiful, uh, adorable, cute hippo, Fiona the Hippo. Do you guys know who Fiona the Hippo is? Oh yes. uh, yeah, well if you don't, you'll know. If you do, you'll love this. Uh, let's, let's learn a little about uh, our, our, our little hippo. <laughs> what? We're going to learn a little about our little hippo. <laughs> oh. uh, oh. Give it to me. What's the play button? Uh, there it is. Oh, hell. Oh, cranky. Just make some, make some baby hippo noises. <laughs> there it is. Good job. Oh. This is the best. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna make it. Oh, look at that poor girl. Ooh, it seems like it could be a horse movie. <laughs> yeah, are you those horses? The water horse. Oh! I love Fiona the Hippo more than I love my own grandma. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this little photo. Oh, she thinks she's people.
I mean, we could just watch them all. I did. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of that. Um, so Fiona, obviously, adorable, uh, very cute baby hippo, born at the Cincinnati Zoo. The smallest hippo who ever was born and survived. Uh, and she got very famous because she was uh, very cute, adorable, uh, and because she was the uh, beneficiary of a PR department trying to get people to forget that they shot a gorilla. <laughs> oh. uh, I was wondering about that. <laughs> so Fiona was born in 2017. Uh, Harambe was a 17-year-old lovely gorilla uh, who was shot dead at the three-year-old boy climbed in the gorilla enclosure. Um, I don't like to do conspiracy theories, as I said before, uh, but his name in Swahili meant communal labor, which I think really, you know, translates where we are today with the strikes. <laughs> uh, and he died May 28, 2016. It sparked a lot of disrespect and, quite frankly, uh, uh, bad PR uh, on the zoo. Uh, these memes, they went crazy of people being like, you know, almost making a mockery of this lovely animal's life. <laughs> making insane uh, uh, memes like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like this, uh, you know, much like uh, when uh, too much attention on things can spur some other crazy thing that also garners too much attention. So much like O.J. Simpson caused keeping up with the Kardashians. Uh, the death of Harambe has turned the Cincinnati Zoo into uh, the house of the hippo. <laughs> they have gone fully, completely on in uh, the reality show hippo star that they have in their life. Lifestyles of the and wild and famous. <laughs> it's Cincinnati schools. <laughs> We don't need no grammar to be on TV. Host the hippo. Go Buck Ass. Roll Bucks. Um, we just get totally sidetracked. It's possible. <laughs> so. Hell yeah. Crap. The zoo has gone in all on the Cincinnati Zoo a Hippo family tree. Uh, so Fiona's father uh, was uh, a very old hippo. 36-year-old uh, Henry the Hippo, uh, who spent the first 34 years of the zoo in Springfield, Missouri, and he was like most of the time alone. So he was like real, you know, real sad. So they brought him to the Cincinnati Zoo. He immediately starts fucking, <laughs> gets his sperm out there, and that's how we get the other hippo. Uh, they mentioned that he had diarrhea a lot. I be ask early. In his obituary, and I just want you guys to know when I die. Don't need to mention it. We can. <laughs> It'll be there. Doesn't need to be in print. Um, we already know. <laughs> only you, John Jack, in the back, baby. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. The next hippo in my slideshow was BB the hippo. Uh, this is Fiona's mother. Uh, she got pregnant with uh, uh, Fiona uh, because. Zoos, they don't know how hippo birth control works. <laughs> they like, you think zoos should be experts on stuff? The whole time throughout this whole process, they were like, we thought she was on birth control. We don't really know how that works. Do you want to put a condom on him? We sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that can happen? <laughs> no, that's why we got all these goddamn baby hippos. <laughs> fertile hippo. Mm. Oh, yeah, so she's a very fertile hippo, so she had two baby hippos. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whew. almost missed my big reveal there. <laughs> so Fiona, uh, this happened on time in 2017, so it's 2023. I didn't think about that just for half a second too long. Uh, 2023, and uh, Fiona's an adult hippo now. And the zoo's like pretty pissed about it because uh, Fiona is now fucking her stepdad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so like the zoo is like really funny when they brought like uh, 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 Fiona's stepdad and Tucker. Uh, they were like, um, 
Yeah. They're like pretty hot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so they're like, oh, there's like three out. No, they were like, oh, because they were like, they wanted Tucker to be a part of the family pod. So like Tucker and Fiona were like hanging out a bunch and they were like, this is a good thing. They put out cute little Facebook posts like, uh, you know, Fiona and Tucker are getting along swimmingly. And then they started fucking. Oh. And it was like a very formal, like letterhead PR response. Like hippos have no concept of stepdads. <laughs> Tucker, uh, Tucker's a menace. Um, <laughs> he's 18 years old, uh, to step, he's the stepfather to Fiona. Uh, he came from the San Francisco Zoo, uh, where before coming to Cincinnati, he already impregnated eight hippos. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's the big cannon of hippos. <laughs> That's the goat right there. <laughs> so obviously, he, you know, he moves in uh, uh, to the Cincinnati Zoo, uh, where he immediately, uh, you know, uh, starts having sex with BB, obviously. Uh, and again, they, <laughs> uh, they named the new baby hippo Fritz uh, because the birth control was on the Fritz. Oh, uh, uh, they think they're so cute. Or they're all hanging out not knowing how hippo birth control works. <laughs> Even though that's like most of their job. What are you doing? Alright, that's my end. <laughs> Oh, I got. I definitely have a question right off the bat. Why was there no mention of how hippos shit? Because uh, they don't shit. Right? They they diarrhea. Yeah. Oh my god. Their their little tails like start wiggling really hard. And it's just is a volcanic spray of diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Just come up in my research. I guess, you know? Not a question, just a missed opportunity. Yeah. yeah. That's all. That's good. That's too much. Yeah. So it, the way they shit is fun. So we know that now. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Any other questions for Eli? Uh, how does hippo birth control work? <laughs> I want to know so badly, James. I imagine it's a, a lot like Sean and Adderall. They just kind of try to get it to him on a regular basis. <laughs> you, you don't think they put in the I, IUD? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they do this. Yeah, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's a lot more practical than a hippo kind of. Yeah, Jesus the, Christ. Yeah, yeah, the, the IUD is the size of Sean. <laughs> that, when I said I had two jobs. <laughs> Good pay. Good pay. Good pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I failed that day. Yeah, two other bits, you just swing and miss. Yeah, yeah, yes. You were with Adderall. Oh, yeah, thank you. See, someone who understands me. Oh, which animals have I not seen mating at the Cincinnati Zoo? Uh, the white tigers are always fun uh, because they you know, they're mystical and they, uh, they they do it from behind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like in my head. Uh, gorillas are much more of a missionary type of creature. Do you believe it? Lots of tender kissing. <laughs> we should call them missionary gorillas. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm tired tonight, baby. Let's just do it gorilla style. That's the way I do it anyway. Yeah, that's the way I do it anyway. Yeah, that's the way I do it anyway. Yeah, rate that hand up that you got after this girl one to ten. Um, I mean, you know. Yeah, we were all wondering about that, dude. I was a finally inspired hand job. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good, I guess. I'll give it a seven. <laughs> uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, I got to go to her, her Thanksgiving afterwards, and her dad's like a state senator. So. <laughs> oh, that bumps at two points, doesn't it? Yeah, what, yeah. what state senator? Ohio oh, State Senator. Oh, but that doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, I got one. Yeah. Uh, what is the girl that gave you a hand Oh, she was 14. <laughs> I would never say that now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, general Cincinnati question. Gold Star or Skyline? Oh, Skyline, Hell obviously. Yeah. That's the only choice, but there's a lot of great local joints. Yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. Uh, what about Chili? The Cincinnati Chili. Is that Chili? That's, that's, the, that's the Chili. That's what we're dealing with. Oh. Yeah. Chocolate, cinnamon, chili over spaghetti. Disgusting. John Jack. Is weed legal in Ohio yet? Uh, medicinally. Boom. Yeah. What about Beth? 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 Always has been, always will be. <laughs> Come and take it, you know? <laughs> From these clenched hands. <laughs>
Any other questions for, for, for Eli? How white trash is the zoo? Oh, it's, it's so white trash. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there a communal hose everyone can wash their feet in? Yes. <laughs> splash out. You know, the, also feeds the animals. Yes. Yeah. Right to the penguin trash. Did you ever pull your dick out for Harambe? Uh, yeah. Woo! Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> only did it. That, only that's what that hand job was. Only did it in real style. That's the only thing. Wait, when was the hand job related to Harambe? That was before. During? Right? It was way before. During. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, I got a lot of hand jobs because of Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> it's my own very true. inspirational ape. Yeah. Yeah. Strong hands. Let's get this one out for Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real life rip. <laughs> Any, um, any last questions for Eli? <laughs> Give me that gorilla glue, baby. <laughs> Fantastic weed drink, by the way.